Okay, so we are recording and we are hopefully looking at the uh, Marketing South Africa wiki page. It's Ron Motter. I'm chatting with Martin Hatchell. Martin, good day, good day or good afternoon where you are. Uh, very good afternoon, uh, Ron. Hot, uh, hot and humid here in Nisner on, on, on the Garden Route uh, coast of South Africa. Excellent, excellent. Now, you're able to see this wiki page, am I right? That's correct. I can see your screen on, on my Google Hangout screen. Okay. Well, we have no idea exactly what we're recording. Hopefully this will work out. Uh, the idea is to start regular Wednesday chats 5 p.m. in South Africa on Wednesdays and looking at uh, tips and social web tips for, for tours and pros and kind of focusing our energies in April and May uh, on South Africa. So we're looking at the nerdy aspect of a wiki page. So it says, uh, Planeta.com and This Tourism Week are teaming up in the month of April to document travel in South Africa and the tools that local tourism providers, hotels, restaurants, museums, artisans, tour operators, tour guides, and others can use to spark the conversation on the social web with the intent of promotion and education. We'll highlight responsible travel practices and invite colleagues to a series of unscripted real-time hangouts Wednesdays 5 p.m. in South Africa. The weekly chats will be open to public viewing and questions. What we're hoping for is that we might even have some, we're, and we're hoping that we might even have some high-profile guests who will share their experiences of responsible tourism with us. Okay. Um, by the way, where, where it says quotes, what I'm thinking, not, not in terms of pricing yet, but just basically kind of a, a pull-out quote or something that you would say and that I would say. Right. So if anyone wants to run this as a news article, they can. That's the kind of quote I'm looking for. But I think I think uh, the one quote that I, I I want to put in there, and I'll I'll fill it in after the session. Um, social web uh, is marketing. I, I think uh, from from my discussions with business owners here in South Africa. They see social web as something, many of them, see social web as something separate from marketing. They don't take it as seriously as they do the 10,000 rand that they have to fork out to put an advert uh, in, in a magazine which gets recycled after a month. Um, so the social web is marketing and I think that's, that's, that's what I'd like to bring through in these uh, uh, Marketing South Africa seminars. Web. Let's, let's consider about how you know put that into your quote, or we put that into that top text. Um, one word that I uh, hyperlink there that that's really important is uh, unscripted. Yeah. yeah. So that what we're planning on is having these conversations that would play, take place on Wednesdays, um, probably thirty minutes, no longer than an hour, uh, among ourselves and our colleagues. But it has to be entirely, entirely unscripted. And a lot of the tourism pros, you know, they're not, they're not used to that. You know, they want everything choreographed. And yet that's not what people are listening to. Or it's not the kind of tour that we're promoting. Um, so how do we, you know, the social web is entirely, you know, it, it's extemporaneous. It's, impro it's improvised, you know. I'm getting very frustrated, Ron, because our internet connection is just getting worse and worse, and I can't hear you. Wait a minute. Martin, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Can you hear me now? I believe I, I can hear you now. Okay. So <laughs> Somehow <laughs> my microphone got muted. Oh, uh, I see. So we don't want that to happen again. 
I think it's my fault. I thought I was my, I thought I was muting my own microphone. I was muting yours. I don't know how that works either. Good golly. <laughs> well, um, at the bottom of the screen, underneath my name, uh, there's there's a little microphone, and underneath your name, there's a little microphone. And I wasn't concentrating. I clicked on your microphone instead of mine. I got you. I see it. Okay, good. I I wasn't going nutty there. All right. So. <clears throat> Again, hopefully we're seeing what we're hopefully we're seeing this together. Um, yeah. Again, if we need to make the case for social web, I 100% believe, you know, that um, we need to be more articulate in the way that we emphasize its values. You know, do I? You know, Foursquare, it's a no-brainer addition to anyone's communication strategy. If they have a hotel, a restaurant, an information kiosk, a museum, or even these, uh, you know, part-time food stands or food trucks, yeah, um, they can be listed on a map. And again, you make it easier for visitors to find you. Oh, um, yes. We'll take a look at some of these words, and again, whatever makes sense. I mean, for me, the focal point, you know, the people that we're really trying to service with this conversation are the locals who are you know facing this new technology and they're uncertain of you know the one to ten things they need to be doing so I think it's incumbent upon us to make the one to ten list here's what you do and to provide some encouragement and uh, and uh, to provide some encouragement to these folks so that they continue doing it. Because as I say, you know, the social web works only with uh, repetition and redundancy. Yes. So, well, what, what we're looking at on this wiki page is our first, very first draft. I'm hoping to kind of clean it up over the, by, by the weekend. And uh, hopefully, uh, it should include all of the, the, the slide share links that we've compiled. Uh, if there are other things that, that other people have done that we think should be included, let's add it to this wiki page. But the idea is that in the month of April, on the four Wednesdays, 5 p.m. in South Africa, we'd have this uh, 30 to 60 minute chat with ourselves and our colleagues. And hopefully those colleagues will include the uh, uh, people who are are running uh, uh, products, uh, guest houses and hotels and tours companies, tours tour companies and things like that, uh, because those are the people that are going to be coming to the seminar on the fifteenth of May, um, and I think we want them up to speed by the time the fifteenth of May gets there. I wonder if we could. Well, I think on the to do list. We need to make some sort of a worksheet, and in other words, just you know, what social web channels are these people registered on already? Yes. And tell me, what what do you think? I mean, what would your advice be for a for a tourism business there on the south coast? I think you need to be well. I don't think I know. You need to be registered at least on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Foursquare is good. Um, Pinterest is okay, no. uh, but I don't really see the value of Pinterest. Um, but YouTube is also very important because it's very true that if you're not in video, you're not on the web. Um, and I think the thing to do is 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 to to to, to to understand the value of tweeting and link of of of, of uh, um, tagging and linking, and also that you don't have to produce uh, a Fellini masterpiece every time you make a YouTube video. It can be something simply done with your uh, smartphone and, and uploaded directly. And some of the most successful YouTube videos have done that. They've gone viral because of amazing things that have been captured. And often with um, so, more cheaper cameras, yeah. Yeah. Would you think... Would, I think it's important... Um, Go, what's that again? 
Would I advise? Sorry, would say that again. Advise, would I advise what? Would you advise people to get an account on TripAdvisor? Well, if, if you if you if you if you haven't claimed your management account on TripAdvisor, what are you doing in tourism? <laughs> you need to be able to respond to the people who talk to you, or talk and, about. Um, or talk about you, yeah. Uh, so TripAdvisor is vitally important. But I think there's one thing that we're missing here, Ron, and that is the importance of having a smartphone. There's still a lot of, of, of product owners that I talk to who use um, phones that are not enabled. And I think people need to understand that if you're going to be doing 24-hour marketing, which is what social web is all about, you need to be able to market on the go. You need to have those smartphones and you need to know how to use it. It's not, it's not very difficult. People mm -hmm. are scared of them. I think maybe that's something that we should look at in these hangouts. Oh, I think I, that'd be good. It's cool. That's also something, as I say, what I would advise when we do, you know, uh, photo safaris or other sort of walks around, uh, around a location. Yeah. Uh, last week, you know, here in Oaxaca, we held the All Travel is Local Social Web Workshop. And yes. uh, half the participants, you know, they did not have a smartphone. And I mm -hmm. said, you know, no worries, you know, you know, some of the people did, and uh, and I did. I said, let me show you how I access this, because it's, you know it's important for people to expand beyond their horizon. And if they don't have a smartphone for whatever fine reason, uh, they need to be aware that other people do. And that other people are using this for uh, map creation, and again, it's 24/7. You know, if I go to the tourism bureau, I can get a map between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. But beyond those hours, you know, the, that tourism door is closed. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Google Maps, TripAdvisor, Foursquare, you know, they're all developing maps. And I can access it, you know, without consulting anybody. Yes. I mean, again, the best the best thing happens when we combine the natural world and the virtual world. In other words, where we can, you know, you go to a tourism information kiosk and you talk to somebody, you get some customized information. But to have that information available online, well, that again to me is a no brainer. You um, you touch on a very important point there, um, and I see it's in your poster. Um, the, the 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 interface, the QR codes. Let's take a look at that poster. <clears throat> I must say I haven't really examined it before now, but I I really uh, I'm. I'm 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 very impressed with this little poster. Thank you, Ron. Well, this is the very first draft of a poster, and as you can see, it's archived there on on Flickr. Um, I'm still kind of figuring out a little bit with the fonts and the and the text. You can see in in larger letters it says "Marketing South Africa" on the social web, and it yeah. also uh, plays into the sustainability issue uh, with the word saying, you know, creating a positive footprint on the social web. I'm trying to bundle everything together. I hope it works. Um, in the lower ha left hand corner you see that QR code and that would take you direct to the wiki page. And um, behind it all I've used um, a new service that allows you to create what's called a word cloud. And a word yes. cloud, a word cloud I think you understand is just a collection of words and they're in different sizes by the number of repetitive uses and you can use different services to create your own free word cloud so I hope I've tagged the words that are appropriate and relevant to South Africa here well uh, it looks like it Babuati, elephants, biodiversity, platinum, gold you're just missing rugby hey, where, where's, the, where's our rugby there? I don't see it. So you can see, for example, the other, you know, if we just take a look at this uh, Flickr page, um, 
for one thing, you can you can see it's uh, you can see it is uh, geotagged. Sorry, are you are, are you still able to see my uh, Flickr screen? Yeah. So okay, I if I want to edit this location, and I want to how far down the coast am I going to Ugu? Is it anywhere near Umzumbi? Um, you know, I'm not sure. Scottborough, I think, is we're going to be in Scottborough. Um, I don't actually know the which towns come before and after which towns. Uh, hibiscus I'm Coast. Gonna land, I'm going to land this right now on the Hibiscus Coast, but we'll place this more exactly when we know where the conference yeah. is taking place. But the other thing, we're, you're just mentioning tags, and let's just let people see this. And hopefully, again, the screenshot is taking. Uh, this is what's called a tag, and it's a word that would describe this particular image. Yes. So, are there any other tags we should add? That's small for me to see. Hang on, let me let me open that page. Let me see if I can. Open, can I, I'll make it a little bit bigger. What words have you got there? South African marketing. Is that what? Social web, footprint, Twitter, presentation. Uh, okay. Um, conversation. Conversation. Storytelling. Ugu. Yeah. South Coast Tourism. How did you start working with these folks, Martin? Well, I um, um, met their CEO when he was the CEO of Neisner Tourism, and we've, uh, we've kept up a working relationship ever since. Okay. That looks like a good uh, friendliness. Would that be a tag? Mm, friendliness. Looking, what we're looking for, really. for this is a tag that would describe this poster. Okay. Yeah. So the entire I'm event. Thinking, I'm thinking of, of of things that would describe marketing, but no. Then, if that's the case, I'd say that that's uh, that's a pretty good selection of tags. Tags. Well, and on Flickr, you know, you are allowed up to seventy-five different terms, but you know, I say if you try to keep it as relevant as possible. Um, yes. And as I say, you were looking before at this uh, QR code, and they are tremendously useful in making it easy for people that have those darn smartphones. Here's the link to it, by the way. Um, yes. It makes it very easy for people then to uh, scan it and then go directly to the page. So... Oh, it's Oh, my cell phone's on airplane mode, so we don't get disturbed. So I can't. Uh, I can scan it, but I won't be able to go anywhere. Well, uh, that's fine. And if if you, it would go surprise of surprises to the to the marketing spot there, the wiki. Yeah. So, uh, Martin, I'm gonna end the broadcast portion of our chat. So okay. I'd like to say that would be recorded. I'd just like to urge uh, all, all, all South African tourism uh, product operators and owners to, to join us for these discussions. I think they could be very useful and, and uh, I think we could learn a lot from one another, us and, and, the, and the operators. No doubt. It's going to be a great learning experience. I'm, in particular, uh, I'm particularly interested in learning more about South Africa from you and our colleagues in that corner of the world. I lost you again, Ron. I didn't hear that, that those last couple of seconds.
I said I'm looking forward to learning from you and from our colleagues in, in South Africa. South Africa. Great stuff. Thanks, Ron. Hey, thank you. We'll, we'll, end, we'll end the broadcast here.